Welcome back to Gallant Melee Open Summer Edition 2022. How you doing, Walt? It's me and Walt for the second half of Top 8 here. Yeah, feeling pretty good. Uh, 2022. So we, I just did a trivia segment the other day with uh, okay. Cypher, Bottom of the Smash Mountain. And mm. uh, this is, what, the seventh installment of GMO, I think, now? So yeah, we're, we're, so approaching, we're approaching 10 pretty soon, which is we're starting cool. to We're starting to loop around, you know, because I remember, I know. you know, there were the unique seasonal skins every single season. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, now we've actually, you know, we're actually getting some of these... Uh, Almost nostalgic skins at this point where, you know, I was watching obviously know, the first half top yeah. and I was like, oh, I remember these came out last year. And I was like, dang, it's been a year, which is crazy. Yeah, the the um, state skins are dope and also uh, some new add-ins. So quick shout out to Vansity well. Primal yep. for the combo counter, which you've been seeing mm. on stream all weekend. So it looks really, really dope. Um, I believe it was Vansity Primal, Janthor, and there might be a third person who's, whose name is... Uh, losing me right now ah. but, uh you know huge shout outs to all of them for putting something super dope together yeah really big fan uh we've never really had anything like that uh in melee before obviously and everything you know prime i mean obviously uh you know has done stuff for golden guardians as well and it's always top quality work so very impressive and um yeah i don't know it's just it's just kind of mind-blowing having a working combo counter super smash brothers yeah. so definitely check that out i think it's exclamation mark combo correct for the That's uh right. If you want to go check out uh, how to add that to your game, uh, yeah, just exclamation mark combo in the chat. And uh, as far as our bracket, we are getting into, you know, right around the top four area. And uh, the next match on stream is going to be winner's finals. Hungry Box versus Bobby, Bobby. Big Balls. A legendary set, right? I mean, this is definitely one of those. I mean, if you're going to talk about online... Uh, then Hbox Bobby is about as classic of a rivalry as it gets, as weird as that is to say. Yeah. Like if you went a... back before the pandemic, if you took a time machine back before the pandemic, you know, to warn people about COVID or whatever, and then you told them, by the way, Bobby Big Balls versus Hungry Box is going to be the most electrifying That's rivalry. That's actually so true. Yeah. People would throw you in some kind of facility for crazy people. You yeah, know? definitely padded walls. Um, it, it is one of the sets of yeah. melee of all time of all time um, bobby actually beat hbox two days ago also yeah. at east coast fridays um three Man, to one alpa yesterday in the puff matchup showing more prominence uh in yeah. this in this matchup i wanted to mention i got i had the pleasure of casting um you know the bobby big balls run with mango yesterday and vish oh nice and, okay and, and something i will want i do want to give bobby some credit for um he used to i mean this used to be his number one most dreaded matchup he would lose to jerry every week at xanadu or, right. the, or the cave or whatever and he hated it and he would go online and he'd complain about it and complain about it, complain about it, how much he hated jigglypuff and he really overcame it right i mean just for him to go from 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 that era to you know very reasonably being the number one falco that hbox has to watch out for in a bracket you know that's that's incredible growth as a player so here we go game one yeah just gonna get right into it oh no okay yeah, good so time. yeah, I think a big thing is going to be what what does Bobby's punishes look like as Falco yep. versus someone like a Ginger, for instance, and kind of how sure. does he succeed in a matchup like this? Um, it kind yeah. of starts with Bobby not SDing, I feel like, is the, is the meme that everyone talks about, but he definitely does have a few good tricks up his sleeve. H-Box, though, yeah. is kind of all over it to get us started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I definitely think this is another matchup that Ace Box has had to think about a lot, especially with Bobby's mm -hmm. kind of bizarre play style. You know, where he will kind of just charge in and use like really intricate movement to do so. Um, yeah, it, it's super bizarre to think about, right? Because Bobby is kind of like a hold forward type of player. Um, and he still definitely does that in a matchup like this. But when right. he pulls it back and like plays super defensive and, you know, goes top platform and just kind of hangs out for a bit. Yeah. Which it's weird does. to look at. Yeah. Yes. Um, even taking some time here between stocks on the Angel platform. Um, yeah, I think Bobby, uh, you know, he, <laughs> he's definitely made a lot of strides, uh, specifically, I think, against Jigglypuff, and, um, I think part of it, too, you know, you mentioned Ginger, like, the, the difference in punish game, Bobby's the kind of guy, I think, he just, oh my goodness, just like that, he wants to downer you in a combo as many times as possible, he'll even, like, I, I think at times where other Falcos might go for an, an aerial combo, he'll downer you back to the ground, just tech chase you with down air, yes. uh, just to rack up the damage, you know, because each one you get is... Like 13, 14 more damage. 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we'll see if that comes into effect pretty more. I think, yeah, Bobby definitely wanting to kind of emphasize the tech chase a bit more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, HBox just being a spacey killer in general. So oh, still yeah. with the percent lead right now. Let's see if he can hang on to it for that much longer. Kind of drifting. Ooh, that's going to be huge. Yeah. Oh, Battlefield gets him. That's a tricky angle to, to go for because even if they don't cover it, just like that, um, sometimes you're not even really going to grab the ledge. And that's yeah, just kind of Battlefield. I, I, I really like what you pointed out. Oh, oh god, he's dead. God. <laughs> what you had pointed out about kind of Bobby playing the vertical space with uh, right. like kind of emphasizing these down airs and whatnot, it's almost kind of like the way uh, Wizard would approach this matchup, where he'd be sure. like, okay, I'm going to yeah. hang top platform, I'm going to stomp you. There's not really a lot you can do in the vertical space, so you have to beat me horizontally in this way. I like that analogy a lot. Yeah, I mean, at HBox, you know, he will kind of set up for those sorts of back airs that, that do seek to beat you. Uh, horizontally, if you will, um, but uh, yeah, you know, it's it's kind of a, a battle of, you know, they're, they're, both these guys are going to try to adapt, right? How the other one is, is spacing and kind of vice versa. Yeah, Bobby definitely slowing Ooh. down the pace right now. Strong hit back here. Not going to do it off the top, but next one probably surprising. will. Probably, probably, yeah. I mean, it's just that it's a quite a, <laughs> I mean, this is quite a comeback to have to make. And I think this is where you start to see we got into yesterday on the commentary. We got into a little bit different between Fox and Falcon in this matchup. And I think match, uh, uh, comebacks like this, as Bobby takes a stop, I do think comebacks like this are generally a little easier to make with Fox. Sure. Just because you kill earlier, right? Like, if you want to think about how much damage on average they have to do, a Fox could do 60% and kill, 60% and kill. Falco, he's got to do it the old fashioned way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bobby making Ooh. a statement, though, potentially. Hey, this is a lot here. Of damage, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Tech roll left actually would have uh, probably connected with that up smash he was going for earlier as well. So yeah. pretty good vision overall. Definitely possible. Okay. Really okay. patient. Oh no, that's not good. He's dead. Oh uh, yeah. Like, no way. And he doesn't even ride out the side B. We're going straight to game two. He's just gonna trust that Hbox is gonna hit that one. I mean, that's you know that's kind of what you expect to see. I don't feel like Bobby played poorly at all, but um. HBox really coming correct with the punishes right now. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I feel like the counter pick has to be Yoshi's here, just given Bobby so. as a player and then the matchup as well. The matchup too, yeah. I, I think it's even, um, you know, it, obviously the stage really does shine when you're uh, like an aggressive uh, and, and ideally platform-based player, mm. um, even just with the low, low percent kills off the top, you know, you're yep, gonna take Yoshi's. Those shine kills so much easier to get here than ever. They're, they're very much a realistic part of the game plan on this stage. Mm -hmm. And you might not say that on, on some of the other stages where it's just a little more situational. HBox almost run out of jumps right from the jump here. Yeah. <laughs> I like the quarter pressure, but I'm also really scared when I watch Bobby kind of like execution test here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, just just a testament that uh, you know, Hbox only has to hit one uh, little reversal. So far, not getting any though. Yeah, Bobby playing really oh. perfect until that. Okay. <laughs> he made it work with the with the little wall jump side B. I will say wall jump side B very hard to edge guard, right? You got oh, there's the stop with the rest. Um. Okay. Just downers and look Nine. at that. Yep. Wow. Yeah, so efficient right now. Off the top kills, the name of the game right now for the Falco. That's right. Wow. Hbox wave dashing out of the range of the shine grab. Also showing puffs, uh, puff with really impressive grab range yourself. That's a CC. Can't get a huge punish here. Did he CC oh. it or did he low profile the jab? I didn't actually see if the percent went up. Oh, I meant the, uh, you're talking about the, I'm talking about the rest. Okay. Where he the rest and like didn't go anywhere. Oh, good damage here for Bobby. Okay, shine off the top again, yeah. Bobby with the lead. I wasn't sure on that one. I was like, maybe, yeah, it's buff. Oh, <laughs> he's so <Okay>. scared, dude. <laughs> but you're up a full stop. You get something nice here. 29, it's pretty That's good. half a stock almost. Yeah, not bad. Okay, yeah, and the game plan is super clear right now. Bobby coming in with just like wave dash back up tilts, wanting to get like a confirm off down air, anything that he can just go for shine kill off the top again to close this game out. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so patient right now. Oh, this could be huge. Not yeah. quite. 
Oh, this could be something. Yeah, where's the shine? Or dare. That's not the B button. Okay, gets it done. <laughs> That'll work. It'll do. Yep. Yep. All right. Yeah, one Yoshi's one. Uh, one and one. I mean, one and one, but Yoshi's out of the way to me feels in this matchup a little more significant than I guess the neutral stage, which was which was Battlefield. Right. Um, yeah, it's kind of both sides, right? So the Falco gets Yoshi's out of the way, the Puffle get Dreamland out of the way, and then it's kind of like right. how do you play either the last couple stages, of FOD, Stadium, or three platform stage. Maybe they go to FD, but I'm not sure if Bobby likes that as a counter pick. Yeah, no, I think I think Stadium makes plenty of sense. Okay, so game plan a little bit slower here. Yeah, off the top kills yeah. are going to be really hard. He's dead. Oh, he got that. What a tech trap off the up smash. Damn. You cannot tech roll there. Wow. Damn. Oh, Fine okay. shield poke off anyway. of that. Jeez. Yeah, the shield poke, and then he got like that weird sidestep, which uh, almost made him miss the punish, but no, he still had time to get that confirm off the downer. Yeah, really good heads up play by Bobby there. H box yeah. now with all the pressure. Clutch roll to escape the corner. Great. Oh my Damn, God. he's yeah, nuts. He slide off. Great. Yeah, like you said, heads up play, the name of the game. I feel like Bobby's showing a lot of creativity right now on defense. Which I think, you know, arguably in this matchup is even more important. Yeah, absolutely. The punish is, is super clear from both of them, but, uh, right. you know, how they get out of this stuff has just been kind of the make or break in this game three. Right. And so on this stage, obviously, the ceiling high enough that Ooh. you're not going to go for those shine kills off the top. There's just way okay. too much room up there. Stock trade. Yeah. yeah, nice. Yeah, Bobby keeping this one really close right now, though, but HBox showing a lot of, uh, you know, promise with just kind of picking up these crazy rests out of nowhere. Right, just a lot oh. of aerials <laughs> coming from yeah. both sides. <laughs> that falling neutral air from... Uh from Bobby's Falco, so sick there. Just like, knowing, yeah, I, I like this. I like when Bobby kind of mixes it up, you know, and goes a little more defensive than you classically expect from him. Because I actually think he's quite good at this playstyle as well. Probably Full done here, yeah, HBox cool takes there. lead. Actually, really, really clean stock here. Didn't really take any damage at all on that uh -huh. stock. Okay, back throw, ooh, back throw down her, wow. Love seeing that combo counter go up each time. Oh! How does he find these? Oh so my goodness. Just, he like cheated the horizontal spacing by using the top platform wave. That was so smart. Yeah, and the, and the way that Bobby was facing, I feel like HBox just wasn't expecting to be wasn't sent at that angle it. almost. Agreed. Agreed. I think that that's, that's so cool because the only way you unlock that kind of approach is your movement has to be really clean. If you get a sloppy <laughs> wave land, then it's going to look telegraphed and they're going to be able to react. So you need to hit that clean platform movement for that. But Bobby's got that. Yeah, this is anyone's game right now. Ooh, okay, yeah, rollout is oh. so important there. <laughs> no, the, the shield grab is coming. Okay, back to the gun. Man, yeah. Hold. Oh. He oh, got the read and he's hit. done. Wow, Bobby up 2-1. And now it's a very different set because I think like like we like we were kind of talking about if you win uh you know you if you win game one you get the benefit of kind of the counter pick war going in your favor but now now Bobby is the one that's in the lead as far as the counter picks go yeah so it's, it's game probably five. a run back to Dreamland and then that means if HBox takes it right. Bobby does get counter pick advantage we probably see uh maybe the two stadium, platforms maybe. on Stadium um Yoshi's is out of the picture at this point could run back right. to Battlefield as well but yeah yeah it starts with getting this first game for sure. Yes. Yeah, that's a really, really big win, I think, for um, for Bobby. I mean, beating Puff, especially as Falco, I think. You know, sometimes with Falco, those stocks can go really, really long. Um, mm -hmm. So Bobby was definitely doing, doing a great job finding those KOs, uh, setting up for downers that, you know, in my opinion, um, those aren't always the easiest to get set up on a, you know, on a, on a player like Hungrybox, right? He's right. going to generally position in such a way, but Bobby's movement's so good. Hbox is falling for some tricks. Yeah, quick three piece out of Bobby right now for 43. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got here. Okay, yeah, and again, like I, I love oh. the the dare kind of uh, what he looks for in these dare tech traps. Nice. 
Wow, HBox really went for that. HBox really went for that. <laughs> he did, he did. Yeah, and the, and the macro play, oh, nice. That's yeah, up air rest, so good. Oh. I was about to say, the ma the macro play seems very solid from uh, both sides right now. It's like, Bobby wants to get his, his feet yeah. on the ground as quickly as possible, and then he tries to force HBox into these awkward positions where he's, like, shielding on platforms and things like that. Mm -hmm. And then playing off nice the wait. Wow. Yeah, he waited out the spot touch. He gets that. I think HBox was looking for the double jump. Didn't quite get it. Okay, Miss Tech. Bobby gets out and finds ledge. Yeah, and there's the the super super defensive clear as day decision. Like I'm just gonna phantasm the top platform, completely yeah. reset. Let's go again. Yeah, that's that. I think it was Logan's tweet. <laughs> Bobby Big Balls when when Bobby's on last stop, side beam <laughs> across that top platform. I think it was Logan, but um, it's just so wow. patient from both players right now. Okay, HBox finds the bear to break up the action. It's edge guard position right here, but doesn't quite get it. Oh, okay. See, yeah, tried to go for that perfect top platform wave land to get that extension. Bobby missing that one. Bobby working on potentially taking game uh, game four and just not even letting it go to his counter pick. By the way. Yeah, could be a repeat of uh, East Coast Fridays a couple days ago. Great dash tag. Was that also game four? Do you know? It was. Yeah. Wow. Okay, a little bit aggressive there on the uh, approaching dare with double jump expended as well. So HBox takes lead here, but it might not be for long. Yeah, Bobby's just yeah. looking for CC uh, down tilt, but can't get there in time. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yep. Very funny to me that, you know, with Falco, by the way, with these rest punishes with F Smash, you know, you want an upward, upward sitting move. And normally F Smash is not that, but when you get a rest punish because they're holding so still, you can set up for the, exactly the hitbox you want. So you can make forward smash to send them straight up. Hit them with that inside hit. Bobby right now getting back to stage. Good ledge dashes, but HBox playing around it. Dang, yeah. Oh, calls that's up a straight crit. angle too, but traded hit means he gets to live to see another day here. And apply a bunch of damage to HBox. Don't forget, getting hit by Falco's up you. That's like 14, 15 damage. Yeah. <laughs> it, ain't, like it ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> so. Uh huh. Yeah, back on the dare train again. Oh, that's a big grab. Can we forward this? Back air. Okay, potentially forcing game five here, just one rest away from HBox. Mm. Yeah, Bobby working his way in. Yeah, geez, immediately up throws, which is basically kind of like a soft reset to neutral at this mm -hmm. percent. Mm hmm. He's dead. Goodbye. Oh, again. Oh, oh, oh. Game 56. Five, yeah, that empty land up tilt, you always got to watch out for that with HBox. Yeah, it's scary I was because. To comment too. I feel like uh, against HBox, Bobby hasn't scouted out too many of uh, Hungrybox's landing options. So it's mm -hmm. kind of been, again, like I said before, a lot of trapping HBox on platforms, forcing him into weird decisions, and then he can catch him with these dare strings. But when HBox is able to land like that and then just go for the empty land up tilts and, you know, any type of mix up on that side, it's really tricky for Bobby to yes. kind of like figure out what he's looking for at that position. That is correct. I don't know if he wants FOD. Uh, I was looking through some of their set history. Yeah, it seems like yeah. he, Bobby usually opts for run back to Battlefield or Pokemon Stadium as the game mm -hmm. five of choice. Mm -hmm. Down throw. Oh. Ooh! Earned. Okay. And they're both using the top platform, actually. <laughs> oh, that would have been a big grab from HBox. Yeah, just positioning around Bobby right now. They are definitely taking a bit of a slower approach this game five. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Bobby sneaking into downer. Side platform pressure. H bot. Yeah, downer's gonna set one up. Okay, doesn't directly die off the bottom, but what's the recovery here? This can, can be get tricky. It, yeah. Oof. 
Touches ground for now, so resets on jump. Bobby needs to just win a neutral interaction again to find this yeah. stock. Oh, oh no! What's this? He's trying to do it the old fashioned way, no rest. Second forwarder doesn't connect. Bobby's back, but he took a lot of damage off that combo. Yeah, absolutely. Dang, yeah, call out on the kind of aggressive oh. platform option from Bobby. I mean, so much of the uh, the game plan in this game five felt so disciplined until that point. Yeah. Bobby now, he's gonna have to contend with this, uh, you know, this late set play style from Hungrybox. He's gonna take a little bit more time. Just sneak in backers when he can. Okay, but Bobby get, yeah, gets in there with that, that downer. Nice. Yep, he just went went just deep enough. Okay. He's Ooh. dead. Yeah, nice. Zero zero to death, kind of. Did he get hit there? I don't think so. And that was uh I felt like that was punctuated by the combo counter. The combo, combo mm -hmm. counter made that one look so sick. And this backer placed on that from Bobby saying, yo, two can play at that game. I got a good back air too. Anything you can do, I can do better. It's actually really strong against Puff in particular because Puff tends to be, you know, hanging out at that full jumpy kind of angle. That the, uh, how did he sneak the laser oh. in there? Okay, edge cancel there, but tech flub means he's probably dead for it. Ooh, nope. Hbox just messes up the spacing a little bit. Yeah, sometimes it's a little hard to approximate. With Falco, usually uh, you think he's not going to make it, but... I don't know what he was looking for there, Toph. Mm. That's but he got it. Side Rough side beat off for Bobby. Okay. Bobby just rolling out of there. And that downer does pop Hbox up, but I feel like Bobby kind of tripped up his, himself in his movement there. Not able yeah. to get the downer to confirm. Hbox tacking on a little bit of damage. We're back at rest kill percent. Hey, we're also at down tilt percent kill for uh, Bobby as well. You see him jockeying yes. for it a couple times just in these awkward shield positions. Jump back. Oh. Phantasm doesn't get punished, and it's the CC F smash for last dock here. Wow, okay, that's a big opening for Bobby. Okay, just ending it with back air, but gets another one. Oh my goodness. H-Box is taking he so might much damage. Yeah, if Bobby connected that last uh, dare on top platform, he probably would have died to shine off the top, would have been the follow-up. Oh, but yeah, has yeah, to, yeah. has to reset now. Or if he even forward smashed the roll. I mean, there's several yeah. ways, and every single hit, H-Box is getting closer and closer to what seems like an inevitable finish here. Yeah, and you know Bobby's sticking to the game plan when he doesn't go for a jump off dare like he would do in any other matchup. So. Yeah, he's really played that so well. What a what a great last stock there from Bobby. Um, just <laughs> oh a very very efficient <laughs> offense and um, wow, unbelievable. I don't know. I don't know if you have the um, player cams open, but uh, Hbox not happy with that one. Uh, it, it's less Hbox not happy. I'll I'll just let you watch it for yourself whenever you get a mm. moment. Um, it's mm. some some colorful sign language coming through. Um, but yeah, no, really impressive stuff from Bobby Knox. Hbox into losers, and now Bobby will be sitting in grand finals winner side of this. Um, yeah, that game plan was insanely solid. I really like the way he approached that matchup. Oh yeah. Yeah, um, even even sneaking out wins on stages that I think Hbox is really really very good at, like Dreamland. Um, but uh, yeah, Hbox is gonna have to do it through losers, which makes the bracket pretty interesting. Um, so we are you know into the top four, so four players do remain. Hbox is gonna face the winner of None and Bone.